The baseball diamond at Dixie Heights High School is where Karen Ruff feels closest to her son, JC. Absolutely. Driving up's hard. Driving home's really hard because I feel like I'm leaving. But he's here. On October 17, 2016, the 16 year old committed suicide, shocking his closest friends, teammates, and coaches. He was a really close friend. He was a great kid. He always had a smile on his face. He was a great player, great team player. You know, we miss him, you know. And I mean, he's going to be a heck of a pitcher. And we miss him in, in several ways, you know, but we miss him as a person more than anything. The team left their hats on the pitcher's mound all winter that year. Now the players keep his photo in the dugout along with a ball with his name on it. JC would have been a senior this year. His teammates stepped up to the plate this season, organizing a tournament this weekend in his honor, raising money and awareness for suicide prevention. All of this kind of affected us as a team and as a community. So we just felt as a team that anything that we could do to give back, maybe help someone else, we'd do it. Overwhelmed with just people being so considerate and thoughtful in the way they remember my son. Um, this was his home. He uh, loved baseball. Karen walked onto the diamond hugging her son's friends, proud and thankful this community is stepping up to prevent suicide. We don't get to choose what life throws at us and the challenge, the curveballs life throws at us, but our choice is to get back up to bat. Now again, all of tonight's proceeds are going to suicide prevention. JC's teammates also kept the number 21 painted on the ground next to the dugout, a constant reminder there of their friend they miss both on and off the field. Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. Oh.